In the new Jerry Richardson Stadium, again, we were dealing with a um, what we call a super truss lift, and that's the super trusses that span the arena, which pretty much everything ties into. It required, again, a 300-ton crawler crane, and it be placed right in the center of the arena. We had to choreograph the construction of the truss, which were 180 feet long, and where those trusses were placed and where the crane was placed to ensure that they could lift it. So the crane uh, lifted into place where it had to go. So again, we used the uh, SDS-2 erector station to check to see if where the crane was being placed was adequate for the load and it could make the reach where it had to fit into the structure. With SDS-2 erector, first thing you do is have to have establish what type of crane you have and you have to be able to input those limit states. And then we use the SDS-2 erector to input the limit states of that crane and then of course the crane placement where it was relative to to see if you know the boom the rigging on the crane was adequate to handle the, I think it was 110 to 115 tons on these trusses, to be able to lift them into place. Do we have the correct pick points, correct rigging, we have the proper crane reach booming. That was very critical on that job because they actually had to leave a section of the building out so that the crane could walk into the center of the building, erect the trusses, then walk out after those trusses were erected.